Okay, so a little more detail about the water tank is a, I want to show you a little bit of how it is functionally. And we have just a simple roof here. Uh, it's, the whole roof is guttered. And the water goes directly into the water system, into the tank holding system. Uh, we have a little bit of a, uh, a pre-filter here. I don't know a better word for it, but what happens is, is the first water that ha comes after a rain washes the roof clean. And we don't want that first water because it's dirty. So we've created a little tube coming down in here. The first water comes off the roof and fills this tube. And that's the dirty water. Then, once this tube is full, the water then continues to run down into the tank. Now on the bottom of this, there's a small hole that allows this area to drain between rains. So it's supposed to be a hands-off system that allows a simple way to have the water be clean when it enters the tank. Now also with our tank, it's very important, if you'll notice right in the area between the lid and where the sidewall of the tank touches, you'll see that it is sealed with cement. And the reason for that is uh, twofold, primarily so that bugs and things don't get in, but also so that light does not get into the tank. Anytime that there is light, that's a, that's a source of energy. And things like algae and other things like that are able to grow in there, and that would, of course, degrade the quality of the water. So keeping the water dark and keeping it sealed from insects is a very important thing. And it's also very simple to do with a cement water tank. How long can this water last in, in this tank? This water could last in here indefinitely. I mean, a year from now, two years from now, as long as it's dark and we don't keep introducing uh, new plant matter, such as uh, off the roof. We need to keep our roof clean. We need to do the best we can to make sure the water going in is clean water.